There are a lot of games out there based on the rolling cubes. These are very cool and it touch uh, all sort of genre of the game. So you can have puzzle, platformer or strategy. So the idea is you have a cube or a dice. So you roll the cube, complete some puzzle or goal to progress in the game. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to roll the cube, the math behind this and hopefully make it easier to understand so you can apply this in your game. So I started by creating a new unity project. I just put a cube there at the center and some directional light with some yellow color. Then I create a new script called roll the cube. And then let's open the script. So in our script, I'm going to declare some variables. We need a boolean variable called is rolling which will check if the cube is rolling or not and we need a float variable called scale which will be the half of the length of the cube now to move the cube we need to check for user input uh, i'm using here input.getaccess horizontal uh, and input.getaccess vertical for vertical movement now to move the cube we can use transform.translate we can use vector3.left in horizontal input axis into time dot delta time which will make our cube moving left and right direction now our x value changes between minus 1 and 1 so we can to say if x is not equal to 0 then we run this function same way when y is not equal to 0 then we move to up and down great now to make it more uh, sensitive to the user input i'm going to add a variable called input threshold Let's make the input threshold value 0.05. We can change it later. So whenever the x and y values are between positive input threshold and negative input threshold, uh, and also uh, the cube is not rolling, we're going to move the cube. Now I'm going to remove the transform.translate because we don't want to move our cube like, like this. We want to roll the cube. So let's create a, a start core routine roll the cube and let's pass the x and y values and also make the is rolling equal to true so we haven't created the core routine yet so let's create the core routine i.e enumerator uh, rolling cubes uh, pass the float x and float y and inside the function yield return null uh, once the core routine is done we're gonna we're gonna change the is rolling equal to false so the idea behind it is we're going to have some time in between the uh, cube rolling from one side to another side. So there will be some delay. Now since we're in the core routine, so we can pause the execution of the function for a certain amount of time. So we can use a new wait for a second, maybe one or two seconds. But instead of doing this, let's create a variable called duration, which will define how along the cube going to take to roll from one side to another side and create a variable elapsed which will take care of how much time we spend so far so while elapsed is uh, less than our duration we will run the loop and inside the loop we need to increment uh, the elapsed which will be elapsed plus equal to time down delta time cool now here i'm going to take some time to talk about the main uh, ingredient of this uh, whole thing which is rotate around this is an awesome function which uh, takes three variable point axis and angles so this point is referring to the pivot point so if you look into our cube uh, the pivot point is uh, located at the center of the cube so which is uh, 0 0.5 right now so when we rotate our cube we rotate it around the pivot point now the uh, second part which is the axis so axis is uh, kind of follows the right hand rule of the vector so if you see our cube so it has a three line or three axes right here we can see red green and blue so if you move our uh, cube from left to right direction we see the two axes are moving um, but one actually is fixed when we move into the left and right direction our blue line is fixed uh, which is the vector t forward and when we move uh, from forward and backward direction 
and the red line is fixed, which is vector three dot right. So in the code, uh, I'm gonna write down transform dot rotate around point axis and angle. For the angle, we need to divide it by duration into time dot dollar time. Cool. Now let's create all those variables. Uh, for point is a vector three, uh, axis is also a vector three. Our angle is a float. So for left and right case, our axis is vector three dot forward, and for forward and backward case, our axis is vector three dot left. For points, we check which direction we're moving, and we multiply the scale with that direction vector, and we add that with our transform dot position. For the angle, we also need to check which direction we're moving, and based on the direction, we put 90 or minus 90 degree. Let's run this. Now it's moving uh, all right, but it's moving in the, some weird direction, I guess. Uh, it's happening because if you see the pivot point, it's in the middle of the cube. So we need to move the pivot point at the bottom of the cube. So the way we can do that is we add some number to the point, which is point plus equal to new vector three. And we know we need to move halfway down, which is 0 0.5. And that's it. It's working well for left and right. Oh, but it's not working for forward and left. Let's check. Okay, so the problem is we need to put vector three dot right, not left. So now it's working. Now we can roll left, right, and forward, backward. But if you see, if we if we keep continue more rolling, cube is moving down, and it's rotating in all sort of weird direction. It's because we need to adjust the rotation and the position after the rolling is done. So I'm going to create a variable called direction to keep track of which direction is moving right now. So I'm going to create another variable called adjust position and I'm going to calculate how much we need to move after the rolling is done, which is the point plus the direction into scale minus the vector three minus the scale. And that should uh, solve our position issue. Now, last thing we need to fix is the uh, rotation because once you keep rolling you see the rotation is not 90 degree anymore it's changing so this one is very easy we just need to create a variable as just rotation which is a quaternion and the qu we have a function called quaternion euler and direction just multiply with the uh, angle which is 90 degree and that's it uh, now our cube is rolling, uh, no more weird rotation issue or position issue. Uh, so in the next video, I'll, I'll try to show you how to make a game, uh, maybe some platformer game uh, from this cube. So thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, if you like it, please press the like button and please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we will see you in the next one.